I want to show you how to quick pwn 2.02 with the new quick pwn. This works on any firmware above 2.0. So if you're in 2.0, get 2.0 firmware. But I suggest 2.02. It's a free upgrade. Do it if you're in any the 2.0s. So anyways, so get the firmware that you're in. I'm in 2.02. So again, I'm going to get 2.02. So, and make sure you have iTunes closed out and your iPod is plugged in and turned on. And, um, make sure your iPod is now not currently jailbroken. Just restore it. If it's, if it's not jailbroken, you don't have to restore it. So, anyways. Sorry if I keep doing that. It's fun. <laughs> um, but anyway, so once you have that done, go into your folder where you saved it or wherever you saved it. Go into QuickPone. This is the QuickPone GUI. It's the newest one. And this is the new one, so you do not have to end any processes. You know, just to prove it to you, you don't. Oh, let me just do this really quickly. You, oh, sorry if you didn't see that. It's first is asked you if you're an iPod Touch. Hit iPod Touch, and if you're an iPhone, hit iPhone, and if you're an iPhone 3G, hit iPhone 3G. And now it's going to ask you click browse and just choose the firmware that you're in. So if you're in 2.01, choose 2.01. Again, don't. So choose the firmware that you're in. Sorry. Okay, next. And then, actually, you want, trust me, you'd want Cydia, installer, and replace boot logos. Where's it at? Hold on. And then you're going to want to replace the boot logo. Sorry, guys. Um, You want Cydia and installer and replace boot logos if you want. But trust me, you want all these things. They're really cool. Now hit next. Sorry if I'm just ranting, guys. Next. And then hit go. And as you can read here, this is what I want to prove to you guys. Please note that QuickPun will terminate iTunes related processes automatically. So you don't have to do Control, Alt, Delete, and End them anymore. It's updated. Totally updated. So then you're going to want to hit Go. Now, what it's going to. I'm going to pause the video here because it's going to automatically hatch the IPSW. It takes about 30 seconds. Okay, oops. Now it's. It just asked, um. Please turn off your iPhone without disconnecting the cable. So just turn off your iPhone or iPod Touch, whichever one you're using to jailbreak. Slide the power off and hit enter when you're done. When you have your iPod turned off. By the way, that command thing, it did automatically. It's going to do it. Just wait till it asks you this question. Then hit enter once you have it turned off. Are you ready to begin? If you're. Don't click yes. You guys want to read this. Press and hold down the power button for five seconds. Without letting then without letting go of the home button, press and hold down the power button and home button for ten seconds. And then you're gonna want to release the power button and continue holding the uh, home button for thirty seconds until now it it says thirty seconds, but you're gonna keep holding it until the this black screen goes it's gonna exit out automatically. So just continue holding it until it exits out. So I'm gonna do it really quickly for you guys. So again, press and hold down the power button for five seconds for the beginning. Okay, now I'm gonna hit Y. It's gonna five begin in five, four, three, two, one. It counts down for you. Don't now you're holding down both buttons for ten seconds. Or now you're gonna wanna release the home I mean uh, the power button and continue holding down the home button for 30 seconds actually until the um, black screen goes away this thing the doubt XE it's gonna make a whole bunch of beeps just do it until it goes away it's not done as you can see in the bar over here it's not done continue holding it so you might have a freezing up problem right here if your iPod freezes up just reboot your computer and iPod and yeah mine's still going it was supposed to pause there it's supposed to pause there continue holding it continue holding it your hand might get tired continue holding it keep going i'll tell you when you guys just stop just again before you do this make sure you read those things it's going to exit out automatically so continue holding it until it exits out i don't want to mess any of you guys up continue holding it 99 percent Continue holding it. Not gonna pause the video because now it's done. Now, 
your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPhone 3G should have a spinning wheel at the bottom and it's going to just reboot. And it's going to take up to five minutes to reboot, so don't unplug it from the computer or do anything. You can exit out quick pwning and everything, though. And that's, so yeah, it's going to take up to five minutes to reboot, and all the links are in the right of the video description. And that's how you quick pwn 2.02 or any firmware above 2.0. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And again, sorry if I'm talking too loud. I'm using my webcam as a mic, so I'm just holding it up to my mouth. And comment, rate, subscribe, like I said. Thanks, guys. Bye. Man.